Assalamualaikum dear students you are watching MLT MCQs I am Kamran today MCQs will be from electrolytes test and we will talk about 10 best MCQs so let's start the MCQs our MCQ number one is calcium levels are blank options for this question are high in growing children low in older adults, low in pregnant women, all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 4, all of the above. Calcium levels are high in growing children, low in older adults and low in pregnant women. Our MCQ number 2 is what are the two types of calcium blood tests. What are the two types of calcium blood tests? Options for this question are ionized calcium test and the non-ionized calcium test, the parathyroid hormone PTH stimulation test and the vitamin D test, the parathyroid test and the thyroid test none of the above and the right answer for this question is option number one the two types of calcium blood test are ionized calcium test and the non-ionized calcium test mcq number three is what can affect the results of an electrolyte test that measures calcium what can affect the results of an electrolyte test that measures calcium and the answers for this question are ingesting milk 8 hours before the test, taking vitamin D before the test, taking calcium supplements before the test, all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number four all of the above either ingesting milk eight hours before the test taking vitamin d before the test taking calcium supplements before the test will affect the results of an electrolyte test that measures calcium so mcq number four is what electrolyte decreases as calcium increases Question number 4 is what electrolyte decreases as calcium increases? Options for this question are phosphate, potassium, chloride or all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 1 phosphate electrolyte decreases as calcium increases. Question number 5 is what electrolyte is used to screen for cell lysis syndrome? What electrolyte is used to screen for cell lysis syndrome? And the options for this question are sodium, potassium, magnesium or phosphate. And the right answer for this question is option number 2. Potassium is the electrolyte which is used to screen for cell lysis syndrome. So, the right answer is potassium. MCQ number 6 is what does the fractional excretion of sodium test do? What does the fractional excretion of sodium do? And the options for this question are determines the fractional amount of sodium in blood plasma determines the fractional amount of sodium in urine, determines the fractional amount of potassium in blood plasma, none of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 2. The fractional excretion of sodium test will determines the fractional amount of sodium in urine. Question number 7 is why should you assess if the patient has taken antibiotics before testing for potassium? Why should you assess if the 
patient has taken antibiotics before testing for potassium? Options for this question are taking antibiotics indicates that the patient has a bacterial infection, some antibiotics contain potassium, patients who take antibiotics always have higher than normal level of potassium, patients might vomit during the test and the right answer for this question is option number 2. Some antibiotics contain potassium. MCQ number 8 is sodium has an inverse relationship with sodium has an inverse relationship with options for this question are potassium, magnesium, phosphate, chloride and the right answer for this question is option number 1. Sodium has an inverse relationship with potassium. Dear students, subscribe to our channel MLT MCQs. In this channel, MCQs are given every other day from all MLT subjects which will be helpful in all your exams, whether the exams are from your college or university or for foreign jobs. So kindly subscribe our channel MLT MCQs. MCQ number 9 is where is potassium stored in the body? Where is potassium stored in the body? Options for this question are only in muscles, only in the kidneys, outside the cell or inside the cell? The right answer for this question is option number 4. Inside the cell, potassium stored inside the cell in our body. MCQ number 10 is what should be explained to the patient before testing for magnesium? What should be explained to the patient before testing for magnesium? Options for this question are avoid taking laxatives 3 days before the test, exercise 2 hours before the test, don't exercise 2 hours before the test, avoid eating 3 days before the test and the right answer for this question is option number 1. We will explain to the patient before testing for magnesium that please avoid taking laxatives 3 days before the test. Laxatives are medicines which are used to relieve constipation and to loosen stool. Thank you so much dear students that's all for today. Like this video and share it with your friends. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.